Who knows what training is today? Thursday. What are we training on? <clears throat> we talk till now. Come on. Objections. 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 All right. Oh, so, so that's it. Put that in. So listen. Uh, we you, uh, we weren't as prepared. We didn't put it down here. Objections. It's Thursday. Thursday. Wait. Where's Steven? Well, we're going. Steven's doing his taxes. Should I get Steven? Yes. Too fucking soon. Too soon. I object. It's the same. That's what they're saying. Wait, you're saying I have to go grab Steven? Yes, that's what they're saying. They're saying I object, okay? And this is the solution. Who's got the time? I need a time on the board. I already got the camera rolling, no worries. I still like the time. Give me the time. 11.43. There you go, so there's no discrepancy. It's 11.43. Why? Because we're gonna work out right now, guys, and today's workout is gonna be 30 minutes. You can do it, you can handle that? Yeah. 30 minutes, that's what I want from you. Okay, 30 minutes, all right? So here's the number one thing you need in order to handle an objection. Conviction. That's the number one thing you need. It really actually doesn't matter what you say. You can say whatever you want, but if you say it with conviction and you believe it, you win. So it goes like this, right? And uh, it's a fun game. But who knows what Andrew's nationality is? Andrew and Dan. Wow. Really? Wow. So if I were to say to Andrew, I'd be like, Andrew, you're Filipino. No. What do you mean, no? No. Oh, yeah. Are you not Filipino? My mom was white. Plus, my dad moved here when he was three. I'm not Filipino. But anyways. <laughs> There's it. No. Not just. Let's play the same game. Andrew, you're white. No. <laughs> you're white. No. You were born in this country. I'm not white. You can just look. <laughs> How are you not white? Your mom's white. You're born in this country. American citizen. No. You speak any of the language? I click other on the on the on the scan chart. I click other. It's conviction. <laughs> <laughs> you can play that both ways. I can say he's Filipino, and, and it's also my level. Like, are you Filipino? Like, I'm not sure. Are you Dan? Are you Filipino? Yeah. You could be Mexican. <laughs> conviction. You can say what you want to say, but it's about conviction, right? So, so to handle an objection is about conviction. But where does conviction come from? Do you know where conviction comes from? Confidence. Close. Damn. Authority. Conviction comes from being correct. Oh, pretty serious. Yeah. You have to be right. You have to believe you're right. Conviction comes from being correct. Okay? Can you give me an example of that, guys? You know what that is? I can't sell it to you. Okay. 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 And today's about objections. Today's about everyone says to you, I object, right? So I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna take you a little path, which was fun this morning. And, and Big Ryan learned a lot, right? So I'm really happy to got Big Ryan and David Gills with their commitment in with everybody else. We're all showing up, which is very powerful. But what happened? I overheard someone really sleepy go, oh, hello, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, do the conversation. Do, with, record what you remember, what happened, tell me. Steven? Yeah, Steven. <clears throat> Steven. Hey, good morning, Steven. This is Ryan with Fidelity Insurance Elevated. I was just calling to touch base about the Be Your Own Bank with the Cash Value Life Insurance video. Now, look how he is. And I wish I taped it. But look how he is, right? What did the customer say? Do you remember? He goes, uh, what? what? What are you talking about life insurance? And I was like, yeah, you remember the video of the strong ball guy over social media? I see you're located over in Florida. Is that correct? And he's like, I mean, yeah, but what that got to do with life insurance? And I was just like, <laughs> all right. I was like, here we go. <laughs> so I kept trying to jog his memory. I kept going, you know, which video did you see? Were you looking more towards generational wealth, max protection for the family? Mm -hmm. And I think the generational wealth jog his memory. He's like, yeah, yeah, generational wealth. But yeah, I'm looking into that. Yeah, I'm but I'm tired. You have to call me back at another time. And all I do is play with the guy. And I go, you know what? I ran around the front shoulder. And all I do is say, He's like, you stay up all night? You watch a TV? He's like, yeah. And we started talking about TV. And movies. And movies. And do you have Netflix and Hulu? We kept talking about it. Uh, and then just, that's, first off, that's a pattern, okay? Because this guy was clearly a no. And, and it, was, it, was, it was a no, but this is the number of objections you're gonna get. The no really means not right now. And this is the conversion secret, guys. So if Ryan, I'm gonna tell him right now, if Ryan stayed on that path, the guy would have just been at a point, right? 
So I sat there and I, I literally coached him all the way through and I think we might have taken, um, David, you were there. What do you remember in the conversation? I think we might have taken about 15 minutes, yeah, right? But we just kept going back and forth. And every time Ryan went back to the script, I said, I just made sure he hit something personal. And the next personal thing, the guy goes, um, uh, I'm a builder, right? So it was fantastic. So I, I say to Ryan, I go, ask him if he's El Jefe. And Ryan goes, are you El Jefe? <laughs> I said, El Jefe. And he's like, El Jefe, the boss, and the guy couldn't stop laughing. Not only is he not the boss, the guy only makes seventy five hundred dollars a year, a year. So I had I had David McGill take seventy five hundred bucks and divide that by fifty two. The guy makes one hundred and forty four dollars a month. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, a week, Holy. a week. And so I, in any time you see an opportunity, guys, always learn from the opportunity. You're going to become great if you don't hang up. The guy picked up the phone. Use that ability to practice and get better. Every time. The more you have nothing to lose, the more you should try everything on earth to make it happen. So I actually had him quote the guy. But this is after a series of this. Here's what happened. So from, from the level of where they started, I'm sleeping. The secret was great. And I had him say, I'll set an appointment. What time's a better time to talk to you? And the guy said something like tomorrow or something. Great. And I just pointed and he went right back to the script. So I'm going to send you a link. Just tell me you have it. So you're prepared for tomorrow. That's it, that's it. The guy goes, okay, I have it, great. And all you do is you keep saying whatever they want, you keep saying the appointment, all right, or the time I'll call you back, but just keep going on. And for me in my life, I've always seen a pitch as this, because the longer you stay on the phone with me, the easier it's gonna get for me. Does that make sense? The longer you stay on the phone, the easier it's going to get. So the point is, he just kept asking, I need every single person to do that. Now, because he only made 750 bucks and we had nothing to lose, I literally had him quote him. And for seven, what, what are you going to do with $144 a week? So I ran to Andrew real quick and we figured out that for $17.07, he did ADB. It sounds great. It's $100,000, right? And then I had to pop the number. And he said, he paused for a long time. And I'll tell you why, because the guy's been looking around. No one can give him anything that he can afford. So either there's a problem here. Either you don't make money or you're not gonna get qualified. But again, nothing to lose. The guy paused for a long time because it was unbelievable. And then he finally goes, that works. So then Ryan goes to give it to Andrew and there was just a big lull and a stop. He did his little closeout pitch to give it to Andrew. And then he goes, uh, I need to lay down. What the guy says, he goes, and then I, we all thought that was the end. So you have to do a strong takeaway. You gotta take it away. And he said, look, are you really serious about this? And the guy goes, oh, I'm serious. And after he said that, I leaned over and said, I don't wanna bother you. Well, I don't wanna call you back if it's gonna bother you. It's no bother at all. I just need to lay down. So I said to Ryan, I go, what time do you wake up? Oh, I'm not going to sleep. I'm just going to lay down. You want to take the app? You want to take the app? Yeah. Sale. And it wasn't the number. It wasn't the $17. It wasn't the, uh, it, I think it ended up being $200 in IP. It wasn't the number. It was getting through that noise. Now, why did it work? It worked for a couple reasons. One, you had conviction. I, I'll be clear. I had conviction. I heard in his voice, which I do in everyone's voice, I find confidence in myself. I'm like, I, I visualize myself like an avalanche. Do you know how an avalanche starts? It's a little piece of snow, mm -hmm. a piece of icicle. It's a very tiny thing. It's at the top of the mountain. It starts small, but by the time it gets to the end, it's never gonna stop. I heard in his voice that I can take an application with him. I did it to Ryan, but I, knew, I was certain that I was gonna do it. That's what conviction is. You're saying the same things, but you, actually believe it. Does that make sense? That's conviction. Then you have to be correct in what you're saying. Now, that's where I'm gonna ask you, like right now, you're working out with the customer. I need you to know that app. I need you all to know this app. If you're doing one through 39, you should know it blindfolded. Uh, Devin walks around a lot. Devin walks around a lot. I just know with my headphones, they pick up a lot of noise. Right. Whenever people are talking. But you know the pitch, don't you? Yeah. Do you see that? You need to. You need to own it. Because one of the things about being correct, 
you blunder when you're not correct. Blunder? blunder? Is, yeah, blunder. You're giving a lot away. This ums and ahs give a lot away. It says that you don't know your way around, right? You in a year from now will kick the crap out of you today. Does that make sense? But you're wasting a lot of opportunity because of the ums and ahs, right? Where am I at right now? Does that make sense? Okay, so to be correct, and to be correct, you actually have to be right. And here's the thing, the last one, different color, but it's okay. The last one, clarity. Those are the three C's. Conviction, correctness, and clarity. Clarity comes from the idea that is crystal, crystal clear. Yesterday, Devin lost a sale. Because Devin had a great sale, but Devin was going, Devin, what happened? Tell us what happened in the sale. And you know, you know what? Here's two things that's weird to me. You knew you were losing it. Yeah. All of you, the second you feel like you're losing a deal, just say these words. Because you're toast anyway. You just lost. <laughs> say this. Someone just walked in my office. Hang tight a second. Mute. Gather yourself. Grab somebody. Grab a new piece of information. And if you want to be super successful, you have to do this. You have to enter the space in a new unit of time. Does anyone know what that means? <sighs> Every single thing that you do has to sound original, like it's the first time, even if you've done it a million times. That's what you get from <clears throat> They're repetitions. So how many times have you shot the basketball? But the number of times you shot the basketball has no indication of whether I'm gonna make this shot true or false. You have to do it again. And what's weird is that, it's really weird how, how this is all your success boils down to. What you decide to categorize as a repetition, something of quality, and not. Why every one of you in this room play basketball, isn't that true? We all do, have. Okay, not David anymore, because he <laughs> came down hard, hurt his leg. But you all do, right? How come none of you have a problem understanding that to put that ball in the basket from where you're at will require the same preciseness that you had the last time you put it in from that spot. What, is there any shortcut? No. I what super impress. I love that video that you guys do where you're shooting like trick shots, right? What super impresses me how you guys can shoot from the other side of the court. I mean, it's just something. It's kind of like I'm not saying I grew up like this, right? With the free throws like that, but it impresses me. But here's my question for all of you: For you to shoot from half court, you know that the odds go down way big, right? From half court. For you to shoot from half court. Think about what it takes. Where does the, somebody tell me, where does the power come from? First off, can you shoot from half court? Yeah. Have you? Yeah. Have you shot from half court? Yeah. You have. That's it. Because ask my son who's six, Alexander, he's not gonna say again. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so I have a better question for you. Right this second, Steven, right now, if we go down the street and tonight find a basketball court, I have a basketball in the car. Can you, after warming up, can you hit a half court shot right now? If I gave you unlimited time and I said, I'm gonna pay you $100 this second, I'll give you an hour. Can you shoot a half court shot in one hour yes. right now? Yes. Right this second, even with your leg? How many of us believe him? I would, I would. Even with his leg? Shit, you actually fucked up my example. <laughs> <laughs> you were my fucking example. I'm okay. getting that shit. <laughs> 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 but you know, do you see what he has? He has what, guys? Conviction. Conviction down fat. Now, let's talk about it. Let's be real. Let's break it down. Tell me where the, uh, tell me where the power comes from. It does. Okay. Ryan, come up here. Show me. Show me. Because I actually Wait, suck at it. The template? Yeah, I suck at it. So, Ryan, show me. Like, real. You have a ball in your hand. Where does the power come from? Teach me. I've never done it before. Half court. Half court. Not a fucking free throw. A fucking half court. Your half court. I hit one side. I mean, I'm different because I'm not free throw. I uh -huh. jump off one. Oh, he's different. Do it again, do it again, do it again. It's hard for me. Uh -huh. I'm trying to fucking give up. You don't need to do that and shoot a half court. Be real. Shoot your regular shot. Like this. You're in the jungle. <laughs> Would you agree? It's kind of, can you shoot a half court shot and right not using your legs at all, just like this? Uh, I mean, it'd be harder. It'd be harder. Okay. More success comes out. 
Through your legs. Through your legs. Then what happens? Go. Keep going. So you legs. The power through your legs. And power. Follow through with your arms. Follow through with your arms. What happens to your hands? That's correctness. Does that make sense? Yeah, and you have to do it every time. That's just weird. You have to build rapport. It's the same every single time. Um, you experienced that whole thing I did is what I do every single time. Every time. And all it is is this. I've got my, my 39 lines. My job is to complete every one of my lines. Their job as your opponent, as your friendly opponent. They're just a friendly opponent. Their job is to actually stop you before every single line. That's actually their job. A lay down is defined as somebody who just lets you shoot. They're a defender. Their job is to defend their wallet. Why? Because they've been burned. They've been robbed. Somebody sold them. And you want to know something crazy? You know where ejections come from? Mistakes. Watch this. So decisions. Each of you have a choice. You have to make a decision. And the word decide comes from the Latin word to cut off from, cut. So you have to make a decision right here, cut. So if you make a decision to go this way, you're not going that way. Does that make sense? Okay. So when you make a decision and you decide, this is the crazy part. You have to be right. Because if not, you're gonna make a mistake. Now the longer a person takes to make the choice, the more mistakes they make. And here's a, here is a vicious cycle that your customer is involved with. Every one of us, it's a little cycle. They're afraid to make a decision because the last decision they made was bad. And they take their time. But because they take their time, they end up going back and forth, making a bad decision, and it's a cycle. That's the only reason why they object. So how can you break this cycle? by just being clear about who you are. You literally have to stand up, and I talk about this, but you have to, you have to stand up and be indomitable. You have to be indomitable about what you say. You have to be the thing that's, that the world washes up against you, and they come back just like that cat. That cat couldn't handle what I was doing. So that, you have to have an indomitable spirit, and you have to have conviction. You just have to believe you're correct and you have to deliver a message through clarity. Now, when we do tonality Tuesdays, clarity is about enunciating, sounding. Uh, I didn't say he stole the money. I didn't say he stole the money. That's crystal clear clarity, but it comes from being correct. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys an opportunity right now to give me the number one objection right now that you all had, and we're gonna write them on the board, on the last deal that you lost. The last deal that you just lost, I'll start with, who just lost the deal today? Just now. Uh, I said employment, but I feel like that's a lost deal. Okay, so, so uh, uh, and, and, and listen, you said an appointment, I don't take appointments. No. I take you hang up on me or I sell you. Me. Yeah, I'll I don't believe it. She said she was driving, Ryan was great. He was like, oh, that's great. I know, I wish I could do that. <laughs> Ryan says the best stuff. I won't tell the cops on you. <laughs> the best stuff. Okay, so ready? Um, go ahead, give, give me, every one of you, you all just, if you're not 100% closure, you just got tagged. Last person you couldn't sell. Go, 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 go. Uh, the dude from Ocala, William Taylor, mm -hmm. walked him through, got declined by UL through Ethos. Ultimately, his financial situation made more sense for him to get an increase in group policy, but I failed to pivot on selling him his wife or child and now you will ask him Well, now you're talking because you're another solution, but value and price. Yes. Right? And what didn't he want? He didn't want for 250 a month, he didn't want uh, 100K in coverage. And then he also didn't want to drop to 50K in coverage, right? Yes. Okay, good. Who else, guys? Everyone, everyone, give me your very last one you just did. I had Valerie yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, I let her take control of the conversation when she was bouncing all over the place. Mm -hmm. And then that kind of led me to product people being all over the place. Mm -hmm. And it's funny how you're self diagnosing yourself, right? Product puke. Okay, who else? I want every single I want every single one. Every person. Who Gary, else? Gary. Yep. Um, just got down. The, the ones that say no should scar you. 
Because the ones that say no were the ones that got away. Because I promise you, I'm not even saying me. I promise you somebody in our organization out of the 500 people that work here, somebody could have sold that person. Does that agree? That somebody needs to be you. Okay. It's all right that that somebody may not. I'll take it. Take it. I mean, uh, it's uh, or just, is that the guy? Yeah. Just go save it. Go save it. Give me Gary. Gary, go. Think about it. Sit on it. Hi, Robbie. What time is it right now, guys? I want to think about it. I want to think about it. I want to sit on it. Is that what he said? I want to sit on it? Okay. Next, who else? I want real, real, real objections. Make this hard, guys. Who else? Last person said no to you. Um, Steven sells them all. <laughs> no. He just, whoever, does, whoever picks up, he gets. Yeah. Theaters today, who said no to you? Um, Amanda. Amanda, what'd she say? She said uh, she has to do more information on our company. She has to do more research on our company. Time, time's a big one. Time. I don't have time right now. Just get back to her. She's got to tell her. She's got to tell her. What do you say? Remember, you just said call me back. Say it. Say it. Is that another one? I don't, I don't yeah. remember a thing. Say yeah. it. Uh, Dale, okay, Dale, fine. Dale, Dale. Dale, uh huh. What is this? Is this is this Diego's or just yours? No, he transferred it. He transferred to you. So it, uh, see, he transferred to you. Then when you got it, you got the note. Yeah. Okay, give me the note. What happened? Uh, same thing with Social Security or disability. He was waiting for a check. He has no. He has no funds. Yeah. Oh no and funds. He bro. said, "Call me at the end of February when I get my uh, check." Okay. What else? Who else? <laughs> What's your last note? <clears throat> It's, for live transfers, normally I'm at work or uh, you know I don't have time right now. Uh, you know I'm driving. I, I'm at my kid's basketball game. I get a lot of like I'm somewhere else, so I can't talk. That type of thing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so this is just in general. You're just talking, in general, like you're just talking about the, the most thing that happens, right? Yeah. Okay, go. They're they're busy. They're just busy. Yeah. They're busy, you can't get past busy. Anything else, guys? More information, talk to my spouse. You get that a lot? Yeah. Um. What else? Good. The only thing we're missing that I forgot to grab in here, um, who readily has it, who's quick enough to get it? Who readily has the, uh, the, uh, the medical diagnosis. Can you grab it really quick? Super nice. Uh, yeah, the papers, the, the drug papers. Okay. So I'm going to show you something. What do we sell? Life insurance, health insurance, right? Insurance. We sell insurance. We have to qualify for insurance. So, so number one, every single product you have, every single problem on the board is happening because you, you deleverage yourself. You understand? You have no leverage, and the reason you have no leverage. Like when I was with Dan and that customer said, he actually said the word salesman, you have no leverage because you're coming from a place of you need. Everything I've heard here so far is because you need, because you're a salesperson. Okay? That's it. Right? So thank you so much. You're a salesperson. Okay. So this right here, and, and everyone needs to have this, okay? But let's split it up. I will we'll make you a nice new copy. Okay? Let's put it in front of you, okay? And I, I think it needs to be prettier, okay? And if you guys pull over to the table to check it out. So this is high cholesterol, this is depression, this is high blood pressure, and this is diabetes, okay? First off, you heard it and you felt it. We all became a lay down. I'm not taking credit for this. It's just this is what's specific for this sales environment. We all became a lay down to Ian Brooke when we were role playing. We are all, we're in sales. First off, we're easily sold because we're in sales. Okay, let's just be clear. But it worked. So I like the high blood, the high blood pressure one, right? Um, so look at high blood pressure, Lipitor. Uh, I'm gonna do this. Go around the room, everybody, with the sheet that's in front of you, and actually hit it. So let's everyone listen for diabetes, and say the word if you know the word. Like I'm gonna hit Ozempic. Ozempic, everyone say Ozempic. Ozempic. Okay, so let me put this in your head so you get it, okay? Ozempic. Ozempic is at all the women's uh, companies right now, meaning uh, spas. The women's spas that do everything for women, like the freeze your body fat, the doctors got smart and they're selling Ozempic. First off, everyone's a drug dealer. It's just a drug to make you money. 
Ozempic, and let's spell it. Let's get the correct spell spell before we go. O Z E M P I C. Okay, everybody, everybody, pass Ozempic around. If one thing we're gonna do is we have to master, this is how we're gonna master it. Everyone's gonna know what Ozempic is right now. Mm -hmm. What Ozempic is, is it's an insulin managing uh, drug. And the women are injecting it in themselves. They're taking vials home and they're injecting it. Now what it does, it manages your insulin. Do you guys know what insulin is? Synthetic blood sugar regulator. Mm -hmm. Do you guys know, let's make it simple. Say, say, uh, look at the word Ozempic. Look at the word Ozempic. And look how I say Ozempic, right? Ozempic, it's, oh, it's, it's actually Ozempic. Ozempic, so Ozempic, okay. So, here's my point. If they're saying that this costs too much, if they're saying that, uh, that there's, there's not enough control, that I have to think about and sit on it. I need time to research it. Um, I don't have the money, I'm broke. Um, all of this is their knee-jerk reaction to having made bad decisions in the past because you already, they view you as a salesperson. That's all that happened. They didn't view you as a friend. And more importantly, they didn't view you as a professional, as a doctor. Got it? The secret in this business is to be a friend, to diagnose them, to diagnose a problem, and to be a doctor. Uh, there's two, with the exception of two things out here, broke, broke is broke, okay? And even broke should be sold, you set the payment date. I am, when I was in your business doing a similar type of thing, what I would do is I would take the sale, I just wouldn't put it in the system. I would take it on paper. But I know the app, right? So they don't know that I'm supposed to send a HIPAA disclosure. I take the whole app, I take the money, I take everything. Uh, when's the payment date? I'll set it for March 15th. Then when I call them back March 15th, even if they forgot about me, I've got the social, I've got the driver's license, I've got everything. That's not a real excuse. That's a sale, got it? So the next time somebody says to you, I'm broke, Ryan, you treat them just like we did Steven. Great, you take your paper app, you get the driver's license number, you get their ACH, let's see if you're really broke. And we're gonna put, that's what you have to do, that's what sales is. Sales is persuading them to do what's right for them. You understand? So there's a great power in being able to be persuasive. And that's the reason why it's so important that you have conviction, you credit clarity. If you're doing the right thing, you'll have good karma. We have great karma because we're protecting people. And not today, but very soon, this year, I promise you, we just sold, um, I didn't even talk about yesterday's, uh, last month's numbers, but we sold uh, $128,000, 104 families we protected. We protected 104 families. Some of those families are in this room today. You understand that? People are gonna die. It's natural, they're gonna die. We protected them. That's the right, that's the most, have crystal clarity in what we do. That's the most correct thing we can do. And in my mind, I love this business because it's my final business. I can't imagine anything better to do with the rest of my life and the rest of my time. No wonder why the John Hancock's been in business for over 200 years. No wonder why the, uh, the Mutual Home has been around for 179 years, which is weird because I typed it yesterday with somebody who's here and it said uh, uh, 105, one of them said 105. So there's three bits of data, whatever. It's over 200 years old. And if somebody catches you, oh, well, on internet it's 105, 169, they've just rebranded. It's one new company to ownership around. But I found 179 and I found it to be accurate. But the point is this. Can you imagine doing something for 179 years? No. Right. Can you imagine building something today that lasts 179 years? Yes. There is a point. It's because you have to be doing something right. Kellogg's make cereal. They make pretty damn good cereal. You got to be doing something right. But here's the point. You need to not be a salesperson. So Ozempic. Here's what Ozempic does. Every single time you eat food, in order to digest this food, there has to, all food gets converted to sugar. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. That we're just simple sugar creatures. All food gets converted to sugar. So in order to digest this food, your body's blood sugar gets spiked. And when your body's blood sugar gets spiked, which is natural, insulin is created to combat it because that would be really bad. If your blood sugar right now was at a low level 40, 50, and it spiked to 300, you'd literally pass out, okay? I know this, his grandfather's diabetic. Happened all the time, right? How many times did we pick him up, right? Okay, so what, what Ozempic does is it manages your insulin so that no matter what you eat, it's not gonna spike, but it actually does it by being a, a, an appetite suppressant. It makes you not hungry. Well, shit, if you don't eat, yeah. you're not gonna fucking even, you're not gonna even be fat. Right. It's, a, it's a fat loss drug, that's what they're promoting it as, but the problem is, they're taking Ozempic, 
with ethos, they're automatically dead. Am I right? They're automatically dead because ethos thinks that they have. But you know who could get them done? Moon, you know why? Emmanuel Underwood would get it done. Because Emmanuel Underwood proved that they're not taking anything else, right? Maybe, possibly. But here's the point. That's what's ending. Okay? What's the point with that? If you're getting hit with this, I promise you, you weren't talking about anything medical. And almost everybody's sick. That's it. You can almost accept this if the kid's 20 years old. If he's 20 years old, not on any prescription drugs at all, but um, Stephen, of not you, but of all of your family that's around your age, that you know of, who's taking prescription drugs of some kind, any kind? Everyone. Everyone. Fucking everyone. I don't have one family member that's not taking something, as far as I know. And what's the most common? High blood pressure? High blood pressure, cholesterol, and diabetes. So why are you guys not having this conversation? Starting right now, it's not in the pitch, right? That's the pitch. So two things. Andrew has this huge pitch. It's huge. Not all of you can do it. He copied me. I have a huge pitch. But I also created a huge pitch because I'm stubborn and I don't want to not sell. Because remember, if you don't close, you're wasting everyone's time. Does that make sense? So, because it's good for you. Because if you, every deal that goes on the board, you protect the family. That's a big deal. Does that make sense? So here's the point. All of this could have been avoided if you spent more time underwriting the whole time. So watch, case by case, value price. This should have never been covered until you had, you kept talking about his dot. Marcus, Marcus. Marcus, his AFib. Now, which ones would be heart condition? And you know what to do? You Google as quick as you can. Just Google. Mm -hmm. You don't even need the sheet. You just Google. And say, hey, um, what prescription medications are you taking? Don't even ask what they're doing. Say, what prescription medications are you taking? Really? And if they say no, say, seriously, I've spoken to 100 people this week so far. Everyone, other than the 20 year old I spoke to the other day, everyone, you gotta get it from them. You should have spent a long time talking to him here. You wanna know why? The more time you have with somebody, the more they're gonna like you, the more they're gonna buy. He almost bought from because he liked you. If you actually spent more time here, you would have been the value. You're right, this isn't valuable. But have you ever been in a situation where you bought something because that you built a relationship with the salesperson's irresistible? Yeah. You didn't even really want it. You well, know who gets you like that? When I you're trying to do that, like when I I looked up AFib, mm -hmm. AFib and Good. arrhythmia are the same thing. Yeah. I have arrhythmia. You connected on that? Connected you talked on that, about it? I talked about that. Mm -hmm. That's what got him to go. After he didn't like the pricing for Edna, he understood he had a high chance of denial on uh -huh. IUO. Uh -huh. Ultimately got him through the IUO lab, denied, pitched uh -huh. him in true stage. He liked that he got more than 50,000 in true stage. But when it came down to the 100,000, because he owns a business and he's already got 400K in group policy, for less Wait, than what was the 50? What do you mean he liked the 50? He didn't like that he could only get 50,000. He didn't business. like He didn't like that he could only get 50,000. So he got approved for it, he didn't like it. So his which, by the way, two, two things there, Marcus. Kudos. He went. He logged into Aetna, which it looked like that was your first time doing it, right? Time doing, yeah, and he, the guy would have never known. And I know a lot of people that would have done that. I mean, you all have to do it for the first time. You know that, right? That guy had no idea, no issue, because Marcus has so much conviction, right? You just have to have conviction. But conviction comes from you being right. And he knows he can eventually get the job done either by himself or with somebody's help in the office. He can be right. And then crystal clarity. But go ahead, go. Ultimately, he was saying basically at that price point, because he's a business owner, mm -hmm. he can get a hundred thousand dollars in coverage on himself and seven other individuals for like a hundred dollars a month. Mm -hmm. So he was like, it doesn't make. And why was he calling? So then, see, now I'm hearing a, a value discrepancy here. If it sounds like you have all this for him, him, for him, he said, I wanted to give you a sell, but I'd look at this in six months and say this doesn't make financial sense. I can take away but, but $50. Understood. So, but why was he, did he not understand that we were, were we not selling group? Uh, what was, was he, did he think that you were selling group insurance? Is that why? Like, no, where, I guess where you, wanted, you wanted something individual, but at the price you could get something individual because of his health conditions. He, he wanted something well, individual. But he's like at that price for that coverage. I he's the boss, that. right? Yeah. Okay, just to be clear so that you guys know something about um, uh, companies, when you all own a company, you get employees, whatever you give to yourself, all the employees have to have. 
Yeah. Does that make sense? So the truth is, he wants the individual because it's, it's going to be costly for him to force house. himself to go to this coverage because sure. then everyone has to be open to do it. And he and, and a lot of coverages work where like the company has to pay for half. Does that make sense? That's why he doesn't want to do it, mm -hmm. right? So that's the first thing. Um, yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Okay. Right. So then, um, okay. This is this is twofold of everything on the board. This would be the hardest sale, but there's still a sale here. Mm -hmm. And and what happened would have been this. You would have had to have your lineup, which comes with experience. You just started now. You've been here, bro. You were give me some love. You were eighteen thousand dollars in fourteen days. That's insane. At your forty-three percent cutout, that's like eight grand he just made in fourteen days. It's incredible what you're doing. But I'm telling you something right now. I promise you, you in six months from now would have closed him for two reasons. You would have just been more correct, and your pivots have to sound purposeful. Yeah. They, they can't, um, like, it's a giveaway. When you pivoted, before you pivoted, you actually said out loud, like, like, I forget what you said, I wish I recorded, but you said, like, it sounded like you said it wouldn't be good, though. Like, it was, that was, that was your tonality. Mm -hmm. That was your personal. Uh, it was like, you know what I mean? It went down. It was like, uh, we could do that. But he, you said it as if it was even a consideration. Because, oh, that was, she, she was harping on the IEO, and I said, we can go through it, but you're not going to get approved. No, 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 no. It wasn't that. It wasn't that. It was when you pivoted and gave another price point for something else. Um, it wasn't the IUL, uh, it was, but it's okay. I, 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 next time I'll make sure I just jot the note down. See every time. But the point is this, what you offered her, there was a section of what you offered her and what you offered her just sounded like, uh, like you didn't, like you didn't believe it. Yeah. That was the point. You didn't believe your own price, which also brings you to this. All of you, I, and, cause it's about objections and you don't realize it, but you get different objections than what I get. You get different objections. Every single one of you, Dan gets different objections than you'll ever get. Ryan, you're gonna get different objections than Diego gets. All of you get different objections because you don't realize you're leaving trails of uncertainty or clues and you're all doing it. Does that make sense? And that's what you have to do. So not having objections comes down to pure conviction, pure correctness, and pure clarity. It's literally this simple, okay? But it's giveaways. But the very most basic understanding I can give you guys today is that you are being a salesperson. Think about every, be honest here, Devin, Valerie, how much actual time did, did she, now what problems did she have? She had a felony like wow. seven years ago. That was any, what about Helen? She's not perfect. Um, from what I remember, she was pretty clean on Helen. She might have had uh, one thing, but it wasn't any knockoff. Okay. Don't even knock my house. Here's a secret then. Okay, this will increase your sale. How how long uh, how long is an average sale for you, Dad? Total. I mean, at least an hour, hour and fifteen. Okay, so look, one hour and fifteen minutes. Can I give you all a clue? How much time do you spend asking the health questions in general in the pitch? Uh, depends if I'm doing it myself or if I'm doing it. Pretend that pretend that you had some resistance in a deal. Right. When you have resistance, how long is a resistance sale? We have to kind of like full if, if like full sale. Yeah, um, probably like two hours. Okay, so that that's better, much better. Okay, this is what I want to hear. So a sale is two hours when they have some resistance, right? Okay, and here's the thing: I don't even have to ask you. I know you're spending. Once you get the yes, this is the app. That's good. But what's happening in order before you get the yes after your intro? You're spending about this much time convincing them as a salesperson. And I can give you objections, I give you rebuttals, and we can just keep going through objections and rebuttals. And you could take all their time, but the truth is, if this was all the time you had in the world, and let's just, in two hours, let's just break this down to about 30 minutes. If you spent a full 25 minutes talking about their issues, so that the record, to go in depth, out of curiosity. Remember how we were curious? If you don't mind me asking, what happened? And the more, there's a secret here. The more time that they'll disclose to you what's happening, the more likely they'll buy from you. You know why? Because you don't tell your secrets to strangers. Does that make sense? You don't tell your secrets to strangers. Let's see how he closes it. You got it, you see it. Oh my God, this was all in the morning. You know, I'm not even half awake. And I just say, finish, finish here. Training I called the bank, got off, and I called Ryan, and that's when you called me back. And it was a real misunderstanding on my point. I kind of panicked, and I apologized. And that's when I looked at it again. I was like, Ryan, well, you need to slow my roll here because 
I'm qualified and I'm already paying. I should just leave this sucker alone and then it just this because I'm right there and this is the furthest. There's a part of this guy. Right out of the way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, mm -hmm. you know, I'm just glad you can see the disprotection. I'm just glad that you can see the disprotection in your family and you're a beneficiary. That's a wrap up. Well, listen, I'm one of the managing directors here. I'm really glad that, you know, you can see that, Rodney. And other than that, listen, if you need anything, this is Ryan's personal cell phone number. I'm glad you reached oh, out. Oh, Ryan is a great yeah. dude, man, and I really appreciate that. I'm glad you can see that. It's so cool. It's not a birthday, the same as my son. It's like, you know, it's so cool. I just said it. Oh, I just didn't say that. I said it for the camera. Let me show you how to handle customer service because this is looking. I'll give you. I'll give you two. Go. But you keep saying that we're doing um, as a salesperson. How do you fix that? Talk about health, guys. He asked a question because I didn't finish this with the. Whenever we did, in Steel Team, I just. Look, I never finished how you get how you get through. When, uh, you know, when we're, okay, so remember the tone scale? Okay. Now look, you can just read a script. You'll sell 10 out of 100. You can practice some objections and rebuttals. You might sell 11, 12, but I promise you right now, if you commit to greatness, and I know we've been putting down time, right? And it takes energy and effort to even stand up here and pay attention. I know when you're on that side of the street, but the thing is this, I'm self-taught. I didn't sit in rooms like this because I needed to win and I yeah, needed to get paid. Sincerely, congratulations. What we've done here is a big deal. That approval is a big deal. And if you ever need anything down the road, let us know. And if you think we made the process easy to understand and simple, listen, I'm sure Ryan shared with you, but you know for the first quarter we're uh, doing a uh, referral bonus. For anybody that you send us that gets an instant approval, you can earn up to 100 or even up to $150 if we're friends or yeah. Yeah. It's a basic 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 basic. Basic. It's designed to be approved. Yeah, yeah it's, designed, it's designed that way. So. Other than that, Rodney, I'll let you go, but congratulations, my friend. That's that's the lead. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. And tell Brian thank you too, my friend. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, you guys have okay. a good one. Have a good one. Done. 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 Give him some love. Done. 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 So there's a step load process to saving a deal too. To save. And you're gonna see this over and over again. You always give them what they want. That's it. If the person calls to cancel, great. Let me facilitate this cancellation with you so that it gets done right. Well, what does that mean? I don't know, I've seen people get double billed. I'm sure you want this to stop. Got their attention. And in the process of telling them that I'm gonna set an appointment for tomorrow, telling them that I'm gonna help you cancel, telling them I'm gonna get you closer to the exit door to get you a free gift today, you're wowing them with who you are. You're completely have tons of conviction about this journey that we're on. We're going to be fully correct and we're saying clarity. The answer to Dan's question is this. When you talked about uh, tone scale yesterday, right? And you, to sell, 4.0 is a great sale. A 4.0 sale enthusiastic is going to stick. Anything above 2.0 is going to stick. The guy, you pick up the phone, the guy's super angry. He's at 1.5. Hello! And you meet him. How are you doing? Like literally. Your day's like mine, huh? Yeah, I don't have time for this. What is this? I'm just upset that I can't get in touch with you. Every time I call, you're never around. Call for what? You put, right? I'm meeting him. You have a better chance there to be, hi, I'm a new salesperson. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. Okay. So you gotta meet them at their level. But Dan asked a valid question. When you meet them at a low level, how do you get them out? You actually dip a little bit into boredom, which is the other way, or content, and you, you start pitching product. This is product. This is actually your product. Do you know why? because everyone can't buy this, so your product is underwriting. And the fact that Andrew, that the fact that, first off, congratulations to us, we have pivoted a lot. We're selling now out of IUL for the first time. We haven't, so we sold one, Jacob sold one Americo continuation. Uh, continuation. Other than that, we've not sold anything. This is what's missing. This is it. So here's what I'm gonna ask every single person. You got to start to memorize this, right? So go down, go down the list. Seriously, keep it on your desk. So let's cover diabetes right now. Um, diabetes. Say that word. 
Metformin. Everyone say metformin. metformin. We're gonna say it three times. Three times. Metformin. Everybody say it. Metformin. Let's do it. Right. Three times. Metformin. Right. It's metformin. 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 Next one, that's easy. Say it. Oh, Zen, baby. No, we did that. We did that. We did that. Everyone on three. True three for three. Ready? True licity. True licity. True licity. And that's for diabetes. We're going to do this one, okay? This one is say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Can you read that? Jay? Janubia? Janubia? Janubia. Very good. Ready? It's Janubia. Janubia. Ready? On three. Can we do this together? Janubia. 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 For what? Say diabetes. Diabetes. Okay. We're going to hit the last one. Ready? No, there's two more. Jardians. Ooh. Right? On three. Jardians. 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 For what? Diabetes. Last one. Last one. Diabetes. It looks like Humalog. That's what it is. Ready? On three. Humalog. Humalog, humalog, humalog. For what? Diabetes. Got it. I need you guys to talk about that when they say diabetes, and you say it nice and smooth, and you say it cool. Are you on Ozempic, Trulicity, Metformin? Boom. Master. Got it. How many milligrams are you taking? Do you like that? Do you ever try the other stuff? Just be a human being, right? That's that. Look, we're doing high blood pressure. High blood pressure. The Cinepro. Wow! Spoken oh, like a true. Cool. Somebody get the somebody get the machine. Say it again. Lisinopril. On three, on three, on three. One, two, three. Lisinopril. 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 Great. For what? High blood pressure. The next one. Read the next one. Amlodipine. Oh, on three, three, on three. One, two, three. Amlodipine. 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 For what? High blood pressure. You're gonna be on the phone one day soon. You're gonna say this shit today. You're gonna to be like, thank God John did three on three. You ready? So, next one. Hydroplorotizer. So, are you oh. saying this? Bro, are you. Is that what you're doing? You're He's cheating. cheating. He's cheating. Oh my He's God. Cheating. Say it again. No, say it again. Say it again. Hydroplorotizer. Hydroplorotizer. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna skip that one. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say it. Is it the Senate? I'm gonna 